Hi folks, we use four orange vices on our Haas VM3 and we space them three inches apart and that's important because of how we have projects and repeat jobs set up in Fusion and how we have fixture plates that we use to drop onto the bodies of these orange vices. Let's make a couple of tramming bars that'll make it easy for us to tear off and put back on, set up and dial in these orange vices. Here's the Haas table with the bodies of the four orange vices. We actually did this back in our video on modeling up the table with these orange vices. So helpful as a lean manufacturer because we've got repeat jobs where I want to know the vices are reliably fixed. So let's start this tramming bar. New component. Tramming bar. I'm going to hide the VM3 table. A little easier to see what's going on. And I'm going to do an offset plane for a little bit above the top of the vise. Construct, offset plane. I'll click the vise body, and I'm just going to move it up half an inch for now. Click OK. R for rectangle right here. So I've got the material cut, which is... 35.625, that's what we're going to trim it down to, and it's 2 inch, and I'm going to move this over, kind of drag it approximately into place. Sketch, point, put a point right there on the midpoint, and I'm going to hit P for project, and I'm going to project that point onto our current sketch. So what that's going to let me do is horizontal vertical this point to this point and I'll also dimension that uh, for now we'll just say two inches I'll do the same over here P for project I'll click that D for dimension here to here how about that two inches Does that really ever work that well that's shocking that's phenomenal okay E for extrude Click on this once, including these two for now, and we'll say 0.375. Or 0.75. That's our bar. Now we need to project all those points up that are the, the holes of the vise itself. So we could actually have done that, kept doing that right back on our first sketch. So down at the bottom of your screen, I'll right click, edit sketch, and I'll just go ahead and hit P for project, and I'll click each one of those. Where we got to be careful is they're not going to be the same uh, dimension or diameter. So, darn it, P for project. And I'll edit the extrusion. It'll actually be easier just to hit the X and re-click this, and that brings through uh, those points. So we'll have this bar with each one of those points, and then we're going to go ahead. I like these diamond-style press fit locating pins. So you press in the shank, and then this isn't a full circle. Instead, it's got uh, radius points. They're much easier to take in and out, in my experience, and we should be plenty good for what we're doing here. Insert McMaster car component. God bless you, Fusion. Click on the CAD product detail. Scroll down. Their browser stinks. That's one reason why I search for it in Chrome. Step file is my preferred. Hit save. I don't care where it comes in. Um, I think if I move it over here, click OK. Yeah, it's going to move it anyways. J for joint, continue. I'm going to hide my vices real quick so it's easier to see this. So I'm going to join. Watch this. Hover your mouse right over that line. Hold the control key and click that center coin. If you can't see it, I'll pan a little right there. I'm going to join that into... Hold down your control key while I'm on the, on the circumference and click that joint. It'll be upside down here because it came imported upside down. So I'll click flip and boom. Cam them up. New setup. Ooh, perfect. Stock fixed size box. We'll say they're 36 point. 
one, two, five, I'd rather cut air and 0.75, click OK. Right click, create from template, VM3, two and a half D aluminum. I get a lot more than I need, but that's easier to delete. Mm -hmm. T12 is a half inch tool, so we're gonna use that to clean up the ends. I'm selecting a partial segment. See how there it goes a full rectangle? Hold down the Alt key and it lets me select just the edge. God bless you. I'll do roughing passes. I don't really care. Uh, I'm not in a, in a rush here. We'll just say th four at 50 thou. Click OK. Uh, chamfer it. Sure, I'll chamfer uh, that edge we just made. TSC drill, I am going to poke through those with a 346 drill, which is the Sandvik through spindle coolant thing's amazing. Uh, aluminum, click once, click OK. And let's see here, I can get into that hole with a 3 8 inch end mill. We're not going to tap it. Um, so let's do 2D bore. Oh, I've got to change the CAD there, or we're going to get into trouble real quick. Tool 17. Click there. I wish the bore had a select, a select same diameter option, because there's been a bunch of jobs lately where I've wanted to use it, and there's no seems silly that I have to select all that. So let's go back to CAD. Amazing. I mean, to take for granted having parametric uh, CAD sometimes. So I'm going to just change these to be break link maybe. So I'm breaking the link, but I want to lock in that center point. So after we break the link, we're right clicking just on the center and choosing fix. Change those all to actually 4365. Stop sketch, updates, cam updates, which I love. When we bore them at the machine, where'd my bore go? Here we go. Uh, after we drill them, we're going to just leave, stock to leave, we'll leave one thou and I'll pin gauge them to make sure we don't overblow that tolerance for some reason. We'll also do uh, finishing passes, 001. Just nothing, and repeat that. You will find tool deflection, so that'll help take that out. We'll spot them afterwards, why not? And we're done. Okay, so just throwing a Mitsutoyu thousandths indicator on to sweep in both the Z. I want to make sure this bar is pretty flat across our four vices. And also, equally importantly, I want to make sure it's, it's good in line. List program, net share.
will see me machine in no parallel, but not today. Tested it with both telescoping and pin gauges, getting a couple thou below. That's why I love having a computer out here now. Just did a real quick 2D contour. Post, save. started using the Arbor Press and it was just too hard, Jared was mentioning. So you can use a vise as a press. We put a, a block of steel in there just to make sure we weren't pushing on our directly onto our jaws, uh, but it worked quite well. And if you're concerned, you can use a torque wrench to make sure you're not putting too much pressure on them. And they worked great. They fit in, which is not really surprising. But most importantly, it lets us keep these equidistant apart. And then we tray them in one. And we checked them all. I think Jared said they were all well within a, a thou or two. And so just doing some tweaking and checking on each one, but huge time saver, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.